Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our customer interview webinar. Today, we are welcoming Octavius Murphy, Assistant City Manager for Goldsboro, North Carolina. He will be sharing insight into how their city manages performance. Interviewing Octavius will be Ted Jackson, one of ClearPoint Strategy's two founders. The audience will be muted for the duration of this webinar, but we encourage you to submit any questions into the Q&A tab. Go ahead and take it away, Ted. Thanks, Jenna, and welcome, Octavius. Thanks for joining us for this webinar. Uh, please tell us a little bit about your background and, and you know, when you got started at Goldsboro. Well, good morning, Ted. Thanks for having me uh, here at the city of Goldsboro. A bit about myself. Uh, I started with the city of Goldsboro in January, January of 2017. I'm considered a corporate transplant. So I had zero experience in local government prior to coming here. But uh, professionally, I'm uh, considered a uh, small business expert. Uh, I've worked in uh, many different capacities in corporate America, but I specialize in analyzing uh, businesses and uh, developing business plans and forecasting and uh, flow charting, all the necessities needed in order to uh, run a successful small business. And so is Goldsboro the next small business. Tell us a little bit about Goldsboro. I mean, by, by definition, uh, because we employ less than 500 employees, we're considered a small business doing big business. When you look at a budget of 78 million, uh, that's a pretty strong budget. Um, but Goldsboro itself, we're we're a small uh, municipality. Our population is around 33,000. It's been declining over the past uh, two or three years, uh, but we we got um, business tools in place that hopefully will help us not only grow our population, but grow uh, business development in the area as well. Uh, we also uh, are home to Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, which has uh, been here quite a while. They employ right at 5,300 um, military, both active and um, and non-active uh, uh, personnel, and their economic impact to the city of Goldsboro is some right at 900 million. That's That qualifies, uh, Ted, as big business. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, so when you got there in 2017, what was performance management like in the in the city? Um, performance management in 2017 was pretty much non. Well, it was. I don't want to say non-existent, but it wasn't. It wasn't what it is today. Uh, when you look at performance management, you you really have to be able to. Uh, look at your trends, track and measure results that matter. So immediately when I got here, the city manager at the time was developing a strategic plan. Well, that in order to build a successful strategic plan, you have to have uh, mayor council buy-in. Uh, so at the annual um, council retreat, we started working on it. And it took about two and a half years to develop your your our basic uh, uh, strategic plan itself. Then that leader left. <laughs> uh, uh, he may have expected it, but the city didn't expect it. Uh, so uh, we we had a new uh, we have a new city manager who's in and actually uh, doing things a bit differently. And we had to adjust to that um, uh, during the process. Okay. So so did you have like departments using strategic planning or link to plans? Like how did you like, or was that something that was implemented with this new uh, strategic planning process? Well, initially, the department heads were engaged in the strategic planning initiative. 
Uh, so they were all in, but as I said, it was a year, year and a half process to get it in the design phase, not implementation phase, but design phase. So they were all in. So for those two or three years, the only reporting that was done was doing the annual council retreat. The department heads would get up and present their departments. Uh, but now our worlds have changed. Uh, our our uh, mayor and council and city manager staff all have access to our uh, strategic uh, plan and all the other platforms that we have available uh, through ClearPoint. Okay, uh, excellent. Well, that was you led me right to my next question, and uh, we kind of quickly got a question from the the audience. I was going to ask how does performance management work today, but we also got a question on you know how often are you reviewing this strategic plan. So, so let's let's go with, with well, take that that, anyway. That's that's a great question. And the reason it's great is because once you hear a bit about my role in the city of Goldsboro, you'll understand better. And now is a good time to to uh tell um what my role actually is. I'm the assistant to the city manager here in Goldsboro, and I've held this position now for over six years. My role is not I don't manage individuals. I'm project-based. So that includes strategic planning. That uh, I, I don't have a title of any of these. So when I say senior budget analyst in uh, property sales and benchmarking person, um, all those projects are embedded inside my world. I am... I'm, in my previous career, I'm also one of those comp uh, a compliance principal. So I'm the guy who checks the checkers. Um, so when it comes to uh, developing our budget, I, I'm very engaged in the budget planning process for the benefit of the city manager. So having said that, um, it lends itself to my role here uh, with uh, ClearPoint. And I, I just want to make sure I, I answer the question directly. From a performance management standpoint, uh, I re, we update the strategic plan annually. We look, we started um, uh, quarterly, and then we went to uh, semi-annual, and now we're at annuals simply because this is a forever changing document. And the department has had the access to be able to change it uh, as needed. But I actually cross all the T's, dot all the I's, send out the reports uh, for updates once a year. And that's during the first quarter of each year or the third quarter of a fiscal year. So you do like a, you're, you're pushing for that formal annual report, but people can access the information whenever they need. That that is correct. We have a department head, or and or a uh, a deputy or a administrator assigned to each department, so they have full access. They've also been trained on how to maintain their own um, metrics inside the strategic plan. So, with your plan, how is it how is it structured that that allows departments and uh, the city to work together, meaning like does the, the city has a strategic plan with goals in it? Do all the departments have the same goals or the departments responsible for, for measures? How does it, how does it work? Well, that's, that's a, a, another great question. And the reason I say that is because uh, unless you are aligned um the stars align properly, you'll never achieve your, your business goals. So in our strategic plan, we have clearly documented, um, we have clearly documented the mayor and council's goals. So everything in the city aligns with those goals, uh, a more safe and secure community. Well, that in, in, involves our police department. 
uh, and crime rate. How does that crime rate, is it, what is the trend? Is it going up or going down? Well, for three or four years, it was going down, but because of uh, the need for uh, public safety or police officers, we're, we're understaffed. So the crime rate is uh, trending upward again unexpectedly. So each department has uh, measures that they're, they hold themselves accountable for. And I say that specifically, they hold themselves accountable for because it's their metric. It's not the city manager driving it. Of course, he uh, has to approve it, but it's, their, it's the department head that owns and has skin in the game with the, the specific measure itself. That sounds pretty cool. Can you share it? Are you oh, absolutely, to, uh, absolutely? Let to me sharing anything? Yes, I can. I apologize, but I I timed out. <laughs> All right. So so here. Okay, so can you see this? Yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so this is our platform. This is the city of Goldsboro's platform, and it, and it comes in right here at our strategic plan. Within our strategic plan, we want everybody to look at what our mission, our vision, our uh, values are, uh, and this is the same information I train in new orientation, new hire orientation. So, uh, and I tell them at this stage of the game, you are a professional. I can't teach you um, professionalism uh, from an integrity standpoint, lying, stealing, and cheating is, is there's zero tolerance to some of this stuff. So I go over our mission, our visions, and they to a large degree, they get it. But at a glance, what you see is the, the goals on the left side, safe and secure community, strong and diverse economy, uh, exceptional quality of life, uh, racial, cultural harmony. We deal with a lot of, uh, uh, we have to be a diverse community. So we highlight some of our opportunities there. And then model for excellence in government. This uh, is new. Uh, a couple of these metrics are brand new. Um, specifically, our finance. Well, our, the city of Goldsboro is currently being audited by the state. So they asked that we present a metric that directly impacts or, or measures our growth or lack of growth, if you will. So we're doing that. And we have clear uh, targets defined. And um, this helps our finance director stay on track. And because we want to be transparent uh, to all, not just the employees, but to all the residents and those people um, considering moving to the city of Goldsboro, we, we want them to see exactly what's going on in Goldsboro. Um, in, on the strategic plan, you see um, indicators. If it's in red, we're not performing. If it's in green, we are performing. If, if it's in yellow, uh, we're close to target. Blue is basically, uh, we don't have the information needed in order to, um, the results are still pending. Let me say it that way. So um, our, our, again, our transparency, when we look at our crime rate, you, that's the brutal uh, reality of our crime rate. Um, you, what's in red is our trend. Uh, so our target is way down here at the bottom. Again, it's our reality. We don't run from it. We run to it. And we, prior to ClearPoint, we never had this type of uh, data to, well, we always had the data, but we were never able to present the data in a way that um, individuals could or would value um, 
the opportunity. So, um, so that that's our our strategic plan itself, and this is how our platform is such that. Uh, would you like me to continue with yeah, others? Well, we, got, we got a question, and as you were talking, which is, and you mentioned, you kind of alluded to it, but I'm I'm curious about it. Uh, the question was, do you share any of these measures publicly? And you had kind of talked about, uh, you know, it's important for people to be able to see it, residents and all. So uh, so curious as to how you share them publicly. I don't know who that was who asked, asked that question, but I'm glad they asked. The answer to that question is yes, it is on our website. You go to government. Uh, city of Goldsboro government, and you'll see the strategic plan. And it's the identical, uh, it's not, yeah, it's identical to what you see on this screen. Oh, that's awesome. So, so I see you've navigated over there. It looks like there are a few other things you're, you're playing with in, in ClearPoint. Tell us about, um, you know, the benchmarking project. The benchmarking project, uh, a lot of data. Uh, a lot of data in in this project. Um, well, we partner. Let me just start out by saying we partner with the UNC School of Government and several, believe it or not, several uh, clear members of the Clearpoint family across the state of North Carolina partner with the uh, School of Government as well. And in this uh, program, what we're doing is benchmarking. Um, with other uh, municipalities, towns uh, across the state of North Carolina. And we're able to look at some of the trends when we compare ourselves with other municipalities. Uh, for example, there are four, this year there are 14 municipalities, towns, counties uh, engaged in this project um, or within uh, inside this program. So of those, maybe about five or six are considered less than 50,000 in population. So that's that's really good for the city of Goldsboro. So in uh, this year, we changed our format. I generally have a summer intern come in and, and upload all the data, all the data in this book. <laughs> A lot of information that we have done for the last three years, but now... Um, the School of Government have has updated their uh, process, and now it's uh, referred to as the Benchmarking 2.0 project. So we can go to this website and just upload uh, or click on the dashboard, and we have all this information at a point and click. And our department heads have the same information, so. I won't get too deep into it, so I'll just select Goldsboro, and I can run the report for the past three years um, in whatever category I want. If I want to track building inspections performed um, based on um, the 2021-22 data, I get it. And this this shows um, that's uh, where we are compared to uh, here, this top one is Raleigh. We're down here at the bottom. <laughs> so uh, per capita, we're, we're, we're not in this particular area. We're not where we could be. But when you look at um, Chapel Hill and when you look at Wilson, North Carolina, uh, we're able to see where we are in comparison to other um, other community. So the the benchmarking pro project is good. Uh the, the city uh, uh the city manager really likes data. He's an analytical guy. He did right. he dives into this stuff. That's why he too is a big fan of ClearPoint. So uh that support system is is major for my desk. Well it sounds like a great way to find out where you uh, can apply some more leverage and focus and, and get some uh, some best practices from, from yeah others. and resources yeah others in North Carolina what is uh, I also see underneath there financial audit and statistical data um, you've mentioned your your audit earlier what, what are you doing in this part of Clearpoint well in this part of Clearpoint what we're doing is 
digging into the statistical data that is supported within our annual comprehensive uh, financial report. Each year, we're required to publish a report. All we're doing is extracting this information, the data out of it. Now, I need to say this data is, is your statistical data is not data that's been audited. Um uh, it, but it comes directly out of the financial report. Uh, for example, if the city manager looks at our data here, this is um, looking specifically at the total general fund and total other government uh, funds. So when you look at it uh, in 2020, what the total general fund was, $9 million, million uh, opposed to in 2014, $5 million. I mean, our city manager has been here four years, so he can look back at the trends throughout the time frame and determine from a performance management standpoint uh, where we're headed. That's important. That's extremely important for a city manager. Then when you look at the total other funds and you look at um, this uh, includes development funds. Uh, so you look at 2019 where we we're at 1.2 million. Well, what happened in that year? Well, we pulled money out to work with our uh, campaign on um, on Center Street. So it's it's a really accurate uh, uh, data that tells a powerful story. Uh, we didn't have any of this. Uh, all we had is this 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 financial audit. Now we mm-hmm. have everything in a data format, electronic data format. So you can see at a glance uh, where we are, what direction we're headed, um, even our net position. Now this is, we, we can look at it. And when you, if you're a finance person, you're looking at these numbers. I I am a finance person, but I don't study. <laughs> I'm not an accountant. I'm not a professional uh, finance person. No, that's that's great, and it's a great way to get all of your information kind of easily accessible to those that need it. Yeah, I see one more: uh, the capital improvement plan. Yes, uh, uh, I, I'm really excited about our capital improvement plan. Our city manager has been asking for this for the past year, and we're now in the position that we can almost deliver it. <laughs> And what almost deliver it means makes it, uh, we can almost make it public. But before we make it public, so this is this is internal only. Uh, although the, the, it's, it's a public document, it can be shared. There's nothing we're trying to uh, not share. But within our uh, capital improvement plan, you'll see uh, we, we more or less have a portal versus a plan. Because a CIP can be 400 pages of, of clearly defined processes, clearly defined objectives. Uh, we don't have that. We have more or less of a portal, just like our strategic plan. Our strategic plan is a dashboard full of our metrics. Uh, so it, it, the city manager is a retired um, Marine. He's a base commander, so he knows metrics that he understand uh information that has teeth in it. Uh well same thing as our dashboard. What it was represented here is our long range our, our long range goals. It's a 10 year CPI and each department head uh has access to their projects. They rate each project um uh, between one and ten, one being the most, the high, serving with the most priority. Uh, so, in addition to that, we we show the uses of funds. We have planning, design, equipment, contingency, um, construction is our biggest line item. You see, three hundred fifty million dollars here. The total use of funds is four hundred and eleven million. Looking at our source of funds, where is this? This funding coming from general funds, utility funds, stormwater. If any of um, the 
the people attending the day, they can directly relate to uh, these sources of fun because they deal with them on a daily basis. Then we go down into each uh, our portal itself. Uh, if you want to just look at them at a glance, you can look at all the projects and just continue, continue. However, if you want to look at it, uh, the projects by department, you click on engineering. Uh, for example, engineering is probably a combination of public utilities as well as public works. You deal with a, above ground infrastructure and below ground infrastructure. And you'll see here are projects that are um, being, uh, that are in place, uh, charted to be worked on. And we can, again, dig into the analytics of all this if we wanted to see specifically what the waterline replacement on William Street is. We can look at the rationales and the recommendations that support this. Um, again, we don't necessarily make this information public, but it helps us uh, in case there's a, uh, a, a, a department head leaves that his successor can come in and tie this all together. I, I need to mention this as well. Uh, we're using all a lot of the advanced features in ClearPoint in our uh, capital improvement plan. Uh, we're, we're using the tag feature, which uh, if a department head lists a new project, it goes up to the use of funds and then it goes to the source of funds. Um, it just travels all over the document. Uh, and a this is a this is a document that's used regularly because um, the, the city manager might decide no we can't fund this um, we can't fund this particular project um, and it has to be removed. Yeah, this is all. I mean, for I know we're running out of time, but for a, a small business of Goldsboro. Uh, you're doing quite a bit with, you know, your financial audits, your, your capital improvement plans, your strategic plan, managing by departments. Do you want to just, I'll, I'll let you sum up this webinar with, um, with some of the benefits that you've seen, just kind of trying to pull this all together uh, through ClearPoint and then, you know, how you would recommend to someone who's, who's just getting started with this. Um, well, I will gladly do that. Uh, in my world, being on an island by myself, I have what no other leader in the city of Goldsboro has. I have access from a performance management to all different departments. I, you can, in your annual, in their annual evaluations, they could go in and say, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Well, I can show you what you're doing in terms of, uh, trends and, uh, that we've been tracking. Uh, with this platform, it's created um, opportunities that we never imagined. Now, just getting when we started, what we did, uh, I would encourage anyone to look at other uh, Clearpoint family members. We we um, we went to Durham, North Carolina. We went to. Um, in in Texas, uh, gosh, uh, Sugar Sugarland, Texas. That was right. that was my one of my all time favorites. I still go to Sugarland, Texas, and look at their platform. Uh, you don't have to recreate the wheel. Uh, our community shares data uh, or metrics in their in the library. You can you can go to our, the library and look at them. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Um, we still look at other uh, uh, other communities because guess what? You have senior budget analysts who know what they're doing. We're able to look at some of their reporting features, how they're taught with their uh, city leadership from a uh, council standpoint or a commissioner standpoint. What buy-in do they get? So uh, it's it's been a great experience for uh, the city of Goldsboro being uh, considered a small community, if that helps. Right. 
Well, Octavius, I really appreciate you uh, sharing your time with us and your, your story today. Uh, this has been really, really awesome. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Have a good rest of your day. Will do.